Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm actually starting a new series on my channel and it's going to be the home renovation slash interior series. I don't really know. I don't have an official name yet. Maybe I'll come up with that later. But anyway, basically what this whole series is about is I'm going to be transforming different rooms and doing more interior design projects because if you guys haven't already seen or if you're new to my channel, I've already posted two different videos on home renovation slash decor. The first video is on me renovating my entire new apartment that I bought in downtown Toronto and then the second video is pretty much me furnishing the whole apartment so I'll leave two pictures right here for you guys to see and you can also check out my channel for those two videos but pretty much after that whole project I've just been itching to do more projects that are home renovation slash decor related but I realized that you know obviously I can't buy another home so my parents are gonna be my clients and now that I'm back in Vancouver I've just decided that I'm gonna help them as well they've already done the majority of the renovation part of their home so they've already done a lot of the you know heavy duty stuff so for this part of the series it's mostly going to be me re I guess like designing and decorating their house there will be minor minor renovation stuff but not too heavy because like I said it's already done so some of the renovation stuff that might be included in this series would be like painting regrouting or spray painting stuff like that nothing too heavy basically what I've done already so far is I've considered Consulted my parents because you know they're my clients or whatever I feel like I'm actually legit enough but anyway that's just going to be how I'm talking about it and referring to them so my clients I've already consulted them and we've already done kind of like an overall outlook on their home so like I said I'm going to be working on every single room possible I'm just really praying that time permits because if you guys are new to my channel I'm actually visiting from Toronto to Vancouver so I'm not actually here forever so hopefully I am able to do as much as possible so we have their living room, dining room, library, home office slash gym, two guest bedrooms slash me and my brother's old rooms and their bedroom. So in total, there's probably going to be about seven spaces that I'm going to work on. So each of the videos that you guys are going to come across is going to be a separate room. So like I said, we've already discussed how we're going to redo some of these rooms because we needed the big ideas down. Right now, some of their big issues is that, you know, a lot of their stuff is sort of all over the place. Like there is isn't really a theme to each room. If you guys have seen my previous two videos, I really talk about functionality and purpose. Like I really like it when everything kind of makes sense. Right now for their home, I feel like it doesn't make as much sense as it could be. So we've already done kind of like the initial consultation and we're shifting some big things around. So basically we've already had that talk and I've also already settled on kind of a theme for their home. The theme that I'm kind of going for is it's more of like an earthy tone with black accent accents because at the end of the day I know my parents really well obviously um, I lived here for quite a bit because I know them really well I know that they're very earthy people if you know my parents you also know they love love nature they're also Buddhist so they really like that type of energy natural you know like they grow their own plants just kind of taking into consideration their taste I feel like earthiness is probably going to be the best I also wanted the black accents as more of like the statement piece color if you guys have seen my apartment you guys know that my theme is white gold and pink only because gold is you know clearly like my favorite and pink is my favorite color and white is that's just who I am okay like apparently I also wear these colors it's obviously really important to design a space that doesn't just speak to me because if I design it the way that I want it, they're not going to be happy. Anyway, kind of like tailoring to their taste, I feel like they're really good with kind of more earthy tones. So kind of the color scheme that I'm going to be going for is going to be like very woody colors, light slash dark brown, black accents, and like semi gray. That's kind of just like the intro to this whole series. But basically the first room that I'm going to be working on is this room that I'm in right here so this is their home gym slash I'm also now going to convert it to the office so I'm going to do like a little pan around and show you guys what the current state of the room is for now and then I'm going to kind of talk about my ideas and throughout the video hopefully like these ideas materialize but honestly part of home renovation is that I feel like a lot of times things change and sometimes it has to do with the structure of the building or sometimes things are in the way whenever I have a plan I'm never like really really set on it always leave room to 
to be flexible because things always change and sometimes it's not really up to you. Basically, I'm gonna be telling you the plan right now that I have. If it changes, you'll know because you'll see it from the video. Hopefully things don't change. Anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna go right in to show you guys what the space looks like right now. So from the minute you walk in, this is the entrance and then this is what you see. So I'm just gonna do like a really slow pan around of what their home gym looks like at this very moment. As you can see, hi, this is me. As you guys can see, their home gym is like great. Like there's all these mirrors around and stuff like that. And we kind of have, you know, our gym stuff already lying around. There's just like a lot of stuff that also like does not make sense. They have all of our family photo albums right here. There's also our wine collection here. We're here for health, not for alcohol. They also have this massage chair. Basically, yeah, there's like a mini library here. On this side, they have their like pantry collection because we actually don't have a pantry in this house. There's also this couch. It's kind of like a sofa couch or what is that thing called? It just like lies flat. There's the bike and then there's just kind of like this whole thing that's going on. So here's my plan. My plan here is to, first of all, convert this room into two main functions. The first function is obviously the gym and we're gonna have that in this side of the room okay so this part is all gonna be like this home gym this space here is still gonna be really empty because we'll have the mats and stuff lying over here I'm planning to get rid of this and I want to make this whole area like this gym friendly area we're gonna hang up these things shoes here and stuff like that like I have this whole idea we're gonna keep the massage table here we're gonna keep the bike for this fireplace we're actually gonna update it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna repaint this entire fireplace I'm gonna paint it white probably will leave the black grout to be honest and then the last thing is I'm going to spray paint this fireplace to a black color so it's not gonna be gold anymore and then on this side I'm planning to to turn this into like a mini home office situation. I actually Googled it and a lot of people do have like an office slash gym situation going on. So it's not as weird as you think. I'm also gonna remove the blinds. We're gonna take this all out. The blinds are absolutely hideous. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert these blinds and put just some more modern looking windows and we're gonna get rid of that. I ideally like to have a whole workstation here and I wanna do like a little wall here for books and other gallery wall situation things. This wall, I think I'm gonna leave that empty. Basically, we're gonna make this space a lot more functional. I'm gonna get rid of this because this couch is actually like super hideous on its own. And I finally convinced my parents to let me get rid of it. So that's pretty much the plan right now. This is gonna be very vlog style. So me and my dad are gonna go and pick up the stuff right now. And I will show you guys every step of the way when we are converting the space. So we are currently at Home Depot because we tried going to Ikea and the lineup looked like it was going to be at least 30 minutes or one hour. So we're not going to do that anymore. I was originally going to buy some desks and some other stuff. I think I'm going to go on my own later. So instead we're at Home Depot, we're going to get the paint for the fireplace and we're also going to get the spray paint for also the fireplace. The paint is actually for the bricks and then I think we're also going to try to get some blinds. Oh my god, also guys, in the time that I have have filmed this I have lost my father hello dad where are you dad hello dad 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 guys I've lost my dad update so I lost my dad again but that's fine Right now, I have picked up only a few things. I actually didn't even need to pick up paint because I came here and I asked all these Home Depot people and they were just like, any primer and paint would work for the bricks. So I guess we're fine. And then I got some grout paint to go over the grout and then this like sandpaper to halt spray on the metal. A few moments later. Hey guys, it's November and we're finally done the mini renovation slash interior decorating for the home office and gym. So I'm just gonna run you guys through what it looks like and what we've done. I'll also go through some of the things that we did, the finances and also how much everything costs and also where things are from. Spoiler, most of the stuff is from Ikea because we're on a budget. We still got a couple more rooms to do. This project did not need to take this long. It could have honestly 
been all done in like one week, but I've just been procrastinating and dealing with other things in my life as well. And I'm also going back to Toronto this Saturday. So hopefully the next few projects when I come back to Vancouver are gonna be a little bit more speedy. But anyway, without further ado, let me show you guys the finished look. First biggest change is that we changed all of the blinds. As you guys can see, this used to be the blinds and we now changed it to the more modern look. So this is what it looks like. The second thing was my parents had these few really big shelves here that they were using as a pantry, which I've now converted to some wall shelves and also this other big shelf. The reason why I've done this is because my parents have a lot of files and they also, for the sake of cleanliness and just looking very minimal, I got these bins from Ikea so that everything is more hidden. This is for anything in the office. So if you have any cords, loose leaf paper or something like that, just kind of miscellaneous things. This is a great way to kind of have everything hidden. And above here, we're gonna put some more aesthetic decor as well as some books to showcase, you know, the office and stuff like that. So moving on to this piece. So we're actually still waiting on a piece of Ikea furniture because we want to maximize storage. Instead of the legs, we're actually waiting on one more of these Alex drawers that they've sold out. The difference here is that these Alex drawers are just kind of shallow and you can see all of these little drawers, but we actually want the one with the filing cabinet. So I believe it comes up to here and it becomes a filing cabinet at the bottom. That will be arriving till December for the sake of this tour I'm not going to show you guys because we won't make it to the end of December. The next biggest change here is the fireplace. You guys can see from the fireplace it used to be this really, I don't want to say gross because <laughs> it's not gross and I'm sure at the time it was aesthetic. Definitely not the aesthetic we were going for but it used to be really red and now we've painted it white. The only thing that's kind of missing right now is a mantle. And also I didn't know what to do with these bricks. So I'm still trying to figure it out. Like I said, we were on a tighter budget, so we couldn't pay someone to just remove it and stuff. So we're just gonna have to figure it out, but I think it already looks so much better. We've also painted the fireplace matte black. If you guys are gonna do the same thing, make sure you buy sandpaper to sand down and then spray paint and also buy spray paint that can withstand the heat because it is the fireplace so you can't just use any regular can of spray paint now moving on to the gym section and this is me hi so moving to the gym I mean this area is kind of the same we ended up taking out the shelves and we ended up having to paint the wall because from the renovation my parents were too lazy and didn't finish and I told them this is what happens when you get lazy because now we got to do it and not the renovator We moved our bike here. I got that shelf thing off of Amazon and I think I'm gonna get another one because my parents actually do have more yoga mats. So we're gonna put it right here, some more of their equipment. We put this here because sometimes we have an iPad. Sometimes my parents will use an iPad to do kind of their at home exercises. This is pretty much what the office slash gym looks like. So I wanted to end off with the empty tour and I think when my parents place all comes together, that's when I'll do like a 
full tour and maybe I'll do another separate one where this is furnished because right now it just looks a lot cleaner and I just want to show you guys that because God knows if we can maintain the aesthetic of a furnished place or at least like when all the stuff comes in. Overall, this was my first reno project at my parents' house. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys haven't seen my other renovation videos, go check them out. Really, I just have one, so I don't know what I'm saying. I have one that I did for my apartment and I also did a furnished one for my apartment as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.